Hello guys and welcome back to another guide tutorial video for Conan Exiles. In this one I will show you the different NPCs you can acquire in game as well their location, races and how they can improve your life in the game by saving time and resources. So I built this small area to display the factions of the game and as well show you all the animations that the trolls will do when active on a craft station. Currently, there are 5 major factions in Conan Exiles. In this video, I'll sort them from the weakest to the strongest. So we're going to start with the Exiles. Now the Exiles are a scattering of non-aligned NPCs that can be found mainly on the south starting areas of the map. Now the second tier of trolls in Conan Exiles are the Drapari Cannibals. They will have better gear than the Exiles, and you can find them wielding uh, wooden shields as well as stone and bone weapons and for range they use bows. Also this faction will worship Yogg. Their biggest camp is also in the southwest end of the biggest river but I'll show you as displayed here on the map. So the by the river on the south is our starter base and you just need to make your way up to the north and this is the entrance to their camp. So you'll notice these large structures made of stone and these spikes here with the flags in red tone. Also, I don't advise you coming here on your own since you'll find cannibals patrolling this location in great numbers. The Black Hand is a third higher faction in Conan Exiles. They are equipped with iron weapons, crossbows, iron shields and stone clubs. They come in far greater numbers than the Tharfarty cannibals or the Exiles. Let me now show you on the map the location of their base. So from the south east part, if you go up this river, you'll find the location right there. And this is one of the best looking bases in my opinion. So this is a giant ship in the middle of the desert carved of stone. Both the main access to this base are done by these bridges and you can find one in the north part of the ship and the other on the south. The Dogs of the Desert are the 4 tire faction in Conan Exiles. They use the same types of weapon that the previous factions would use, plus medium armor and for the first time spears. This is a faction that worship the god Mitra. Now their main base is north of the Darfarty Cannibal main base. And it's in the, like this savanna environment where you can find elephants and a lot of dangerous wildlife, so watch out. Now this will be my personal take on the state of the base for the Dogs of the Desert. At the moment the only thing they have is like random tents and bonfires spread around a large plateau. I hope in the future Funcom will provide them with a worthy home, since uh, for me they are one of the best factions in the game. We have the Relic Hunters, they are a tier 5 faction in Conan Exiles and they are by far the strongest human faction in the game. Relic Hunters armor wise will use medium to heavy armor, weapons they are the only faction in the game using steel grade weaponry such as steel tridents, stingian kopeshes and harkanian bows. Now, the main base for the Relic Hunters is located on the northwest part of the map. Keep in mind that this is also one of the largest and more heavily defended bases for trolls in the game. My advice for you guys is if you wish to adventure into this part of the map, bring antidotes with you if you're coming from the south part of the map, since you will encounter a lot of scorpions and snakes and getting killed by poison will really ruin uh, your plans. Alright guys, so now we're gonna see how the trolls will benefit your life in Conan Exiles. I'm gonna do um, a test on a blacksmith and I will show you how much you will save. Okay, this station we have no troll and you can see the cost is 2, 2, this is a bit more higher. So we're gonna use as a base this pickaxe. As you can see, 20 steel bars, it's quite a lot. Uh, taking in consideration you can lose really quickly. Now putting a level 3 there, the costs are cut by 25%. And since this is a level 3 Stingen, you also get the Kapesh uh, blueprint from him that is superior than the one you can craft in game. Now we have a level 4 here and we're gonna see the costs 
so the costs are cut by 50% and that's a lot of savings um, taking in consideration that <laughs> you can produce a lot of it well not pickaxes but for example reinforcement and moving on to the armor bench I was uh, lucky enough that this level 3 armor to provide me with the superior stats hyena armor 4 since this is one of my favorite armors to wear um, and uh, keep in mind that blacksmith and armorsmith so far are the only ones that provide you special blueprints uh, in game with uh, different stats than the ones you can craft all the other trolls from level 1, level 2, level 3 or even legendary or named ones uh, the only thing they will provide to you is a reduced cost of materials and they will speed up the construction now let me just touch something that is if you see this 10 plus health regeneration this is provided by the dancers and you can use this buff later to penetrate the forbidden city where a lot of corruption uh, lays there and if you don't have this buff you will die in a couple of seconds so you will need these uh, dancers if you want to go and explore the forbidden city and for me that's all guys i hope you enjoyed the video as much as i enjoyed creating the video for you guys and if you find it useful please leave a like or drop a comment on the box below. If you haven't done yet, subscribe for the channel and very important, share the content on your social media. That's all for me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all on the next video.